Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, you guys, I'm gonna cook something yet again, traditionally, from my country. It is a Japanese dish and it's called sambal teri. However, I'm gonna cook two dishes in one video. But before we get to that, let me explain to you first what sambal means. Sambal can be compared to a hot sauce, but not your traditional runny hot sauce that we know up here in the West. No, a sambal is made of red hot chili peppers or any kind of pepper for that matter, combined with a lot of secondary ingredients such as shrimp paste, onions, garlic, chicken livers, you name it, a variety of things. And the sambal that I'm gonna make in this video is made with salted dried anchovies. Now let's get to it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a pack of salted dried anchovies. Next, you're gonna remove the heads of these fish, like so. And then you're gonna soak them for about 10 to 15 minutes in boiled water, like so. And make sure to put them in a colander first. You'll see in the next clip why that is. And don't leave them in too long, you guys, because otherwise they're gonna be very soggy. And that is not what you want. They should be nice and pliable and bendable and all kinds of flexible. And I'm a loon. Next, you're gonna drain the fish and at the bottom of the colander, you will see some pulp. Don't get scared. These are just the scales and the fish tails and fins and all of those things that come off of the fish when you soak them in the hot water. Next, you're gonna remove the fish from the colander one by one without the pulp. Next, we're going to deep fry these anchovies in some hot oil and do make sure that the oil is very hot, all right? And remember when I told you to remove the fish one by one from the colander? This is the reason. Because when you're going to deep fry the fish, you don't wanna deep fry the pulp because that will burn and it will add a very, very bitter taste to the fish. Now, once the fish are nice, golden brown and crispy, you remove them from the oil with a slotted spoon and you put them on a plate with some kitchen paper to drain the excess oils. In the meantime, you're gonna chop up a large onion, a large tomato with the seeds removed, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a couple of very hot red peppers. You're gonna pour them into a blender and you're going to blend them into a nice paste, just like so. And such a paste is called bumbu. Now in the Japanese cuisine, you have a variety of bumbus, but the bumbu, generally speaking, is a mix of fresh ingredients, a paste of fresh ingredients, which is going to be the base of your dish. Okay, so next, in the same oil as you fry the fish in, you're going to saute the bumbu for about five minutes. After that, you will add a couple of chunks of the galanga root and a stock cube, along with some shrimp paste and some salt. You give that a bit of a stir and allow to saute for about 10 to 15 minutes with an occasional stir, of course, because you don't want things to burn. And after that, you add the fish. You give that a bit of a stir, allow to simmer for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes max, turn down the heat and add about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Give it another stir and allow to simmer for another minute or two before turning off the heat. Okay, you guys, so now we have our sambal tari. Traditionally speaking, sambal tari is eaten with boiled deep fried cassava. And that dish, that combination of the cassava and the sambal tari is called telo. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know what cassava or yuca is. I think people that are from Panama or um, Central America or South America, maybe even Asia, you will know what cassava is or people that have had it before. Um, but this is what cassava looks like. This is a real cassava. And basically what it is, it's a root. And of course, I'm gonna insert a picture right now so you can have a look-see. This is what cassava looks like, you guys. 
and um, it is sold in your tropical supermarkets. I'm sure they, they sell this at La Fiesta. I've seen this in La, at La Fiesta in Chicago. I'm sure they have it in some Mexican supermarkets in, in Los Angeles. I'm pretty sure of it. But this is what it looks like, you guys. Now, basically what you do, you chop the ends off, you peel it, and then you chop it into nice chunks, slice it in half, boil it like you would boil a potato, make sure that it's soft, upon which you deep fry it until it's nice golden brown and slightly crispy, and then you serve this with the fish that we've just made, the sambal tari, and then you end up with tilo. Now, I shot this video months ago, well, the cooking part, that is, and I completely forgot about it, completely forgot to edit it, completely forgot to upload it, but I remember the reason why that happened, because there I was thinking I was videotaping the finished product for you guys, you know, so you can see it in real life. Little did I know that the memory card was full and like a mashugana, I was taping it, but nothing was being taped. So thank goodness I took pictures so I could at least show you the finished result. So this is what Tilo looks like. It is the cassava with the fish. And let me tell you something, you guys, it is absolutely delicious. Now, if you can find all the ingredients for this dish and you decide to give it a go, let me know how it turned out, all right? Bye, you guys.